are Scarlet and Violet artworks really worse than Sword and Shields? Hello, this is Barry. Welcome to Barry Collector. And today we're going to talk about are Scarlet and Violet artworks really that different, that much worse than Sword and Shield ones? Should people really say that they're worse and hate on them? Or are they just missing something? So today we're going to take a look at the main Scarlet and Violet sets that we have so far. We're going to take a look at the main hits see if the artwork was actually that much worse than what we used to see in, in the Shield and Shield era. And then we'll talk about valuation. Are the cards undervalued? Are they overvalued? And what actually undervalued and overvalued mean? Everyone is talking about it as anyone given a definition. So before we get started, don't forget to join the Discord if you like Pokemon investing. If you like Pokemon in general, then you'll find a growing community of people who are passionate about it. So the link is in the description and if you want to join, it's obviously completely free. So talking about Scarlet and Violet, I want to start with Scarlet and Violet base. Now, if you're new to the channel, we'd like to take a look at both the American and the European market. So we do that by looking at car market and TG player. Now, let's focus on TCG player first as it does display also the, the picture of a card. So we can take a look at the artwork. So Scarlet and Violet base, which is one of the cheapest set that we've had so far all of them apart from terminal forces are sitting around 90 dollars or euros a booster box uh, in the european union it tends to be ab around 95 to 100 euros but nevertheless b below 100 euros or dollar so i just want to focus here on uh, mainly the gardevoir and the Miraiden. now these are the among the most expensive car in the set and uh, they are below twenty dollars, as you can see. The Marauder next is selling for fifteen, and the Guard were uh, roughly nineteen dollars. Now these are special illustration rares, SIRs. They're not that easy to pull. They have an amazing texture, and uh, they're just selling for below twenty dollars. Now taking a quick look at the European equivalent, and uh, don't let's not be misled by this number here. Because obviously in the European Union you will have multiple languages. So if we filter with English, then uh, you can see how it is starting from 17 euros. All these prices do not include shipping if you're not familiar. So 17 euros, and uh, as you can see, basically you have a lot of volume, so a lot of uh, supply at around 20 euros. So you can say market price is around 20 euros in the European Union. So a bit more expensive for single. That's what. You should be used to if you're familiar with it but if you're not uh, cards in the european union on average tends to be a bit more expensive than the american card bar what what is going on in the american market so this is my personal opinion i think the artworks in in, in this card especially i i like the moraiden obviously uh, you have the the two main characters the moraiden and the corridor in x of this kind of other era and uh, one thing that i want to already bring into the conversation is valuation now if market price is 16 17 15 dollars as you can see here you can see it for as low as 15 dollars actually if not even lower but in the neighborhood of 15 dollars that means that most of the people value it at 15 and uh most of the people are usually referred to as the market. The market values 15. So now you may uh, ask yourself, is Marider Nyax at $15 undervalued? Well, the answer is, it depends. It depends on what hypothesis you're making on. If, if you're assuming, and uh, w w with some degree you could assume, that the Pokemon market is an, a market where the EMH is respected and that is the efficient market hypothesis. What does it mean? It means that every card, every security, every asset, in this specific example, every card is valued considering all the available information that exists at a certain time. In this specific example, right now. So if you if you say that in the Pokemon market and uh, Again, to a certain degree of, you can you can say that you, you can see how already. It, just bring an example that we're gonna briefly talk about later on in the video. The I, what is going on with the Iron Carney X? Well, that that you could argue that that is speculation, and you can do that because 
to buy out uh, even hundreds of more I of Iron Crown EX, you don't need billions or millions of dollars. So it, it is uh, easily doable than uh, buying out uh, millions of shares of Apple. Um, that's that, that's a bit harder uh, to do. Uh, anyways, uh, that's not I always. Uh, Go here and there with with my speech I, I need to stay focused on the point the point is if you're saying that the price of a card reflects all available information at a given time then what you're saying is this card right here right now is not undervalued is equally valued now when many people say is my writer next undervalued i think and i'm sure what they mean is is undervalued under current circumstances do i see it going higher in the future do i see this appreciating over time i think that is the question that they are asking yourself they're asking their their members their subscribers and the that answer is a bit more subjective you can try to to use data to try to analyze it but obviously it, it, price depends on different factors um, most of them you cannot control and uh, if you say well to, to me Murado and Yaks are $15 undervalued personally I do believe that uh, because of manufacturers because of, of pull rate because it's it's an SIR because of how important the card is even though it's not a it's not an Umber it's not a request it's not a Girishina still at $15 I do believe it's undervalued doesn't mean that uh, it's gonna go to 30 it might even go to five, to be honest, but uh, I do consider uh, undervalued. But the market is is telling us right now, if the market is efficient and it could be, that the right value should be fifteen dollars. So I, I hope uh, I didn't make it even harder. I, I wanted to make some some light on the topic, talk about a bit more about valuation because a, a car value is what people value it. So it's all about. That's why economic is all also, and this specific topic would be microeconomics, which which I studied at university. Uh, I'm not an expert. I'm a mathematician, but I, I did take a course on it, so I, I do know a, a little bit. Um, and let me know if, if you would like me to take more videos on the topic. Um, I'll be happy to do that. And uh, it, it's that's why economics. I was saying it, it's always it's also considered a social science because it's. It also depends on on uh, people's behavior. That being said, let's talk about Pokemon. I, I know that's what you guys like, and that's what I like uh, too. But I always like to throw some some technical content in there so that you guys hopefully can can learn something and um, extract something from it. So again, let, let's get back to oh, what what am I doing? Let's get back to Scarlet and Violet Base. Obviously, Guard Guard UX, Mario UX, we talked about it, Credit UX even at, at $10. And then, to be honest, I I mean, the real, the great, to great task is, is an SIR, so the texture is it, it, just amazing on that card as, as well as the colors. And already here, you're $5. I mean, an SIR of $5. Is, is it undervalued? Same, 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 same topic as we talked about for the for the Mariah next it's the same same kind of uh, blah 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 so I'm not, not going to bore you with that but I mean the artworks I think the artworks are great the problem with Scarlet and Violet base is the cards in the set that obviously are not fan favorites and that is reflected uh, in price I mean an as illustration error two dollars uh, and there's some that are even one dollar simply uh, it's telling you that there's a lack of demand um, and that usually and in this specific example, I would believe is because the cards are not that sought after. Now, looking at Poldi Evolved, obviously it's it's a it's conceived as the best set of the Scarlet and Violet era so far. I put it um, maybe number two or very close a tie with uh, number one with Temporal Forces, as I also said in some of my previous video. And uh, here already you can see how it's it's a right difference. The market is pricing the Iono and the Magikarp where I, I get, that's my personal opinion where I think they should be should be at. Um, not a big fan of uh, waifu cards, but after all, you do have an Eevee in here, you do have a Pikachu, 
But again, if we just focus on the artworks, the Ono, the Magic Art, Chen Pao, you have Raichu, you have Tyranitar, and these two, you can see they're $20 for an illustration rare, and uh, you had in here $2 ones. So same pull rate, different, different prices. How come? Simple, demand. Demand is obviously a key factor in determining the price of an asset. In this case, the price of a card. As I always say in my videos, the simplest of model is supply against demand. Now, moving on, the, you have the Miskarati EX, Scala Dirge EX, Fuya Kalka. I mean, all these artworks, I think they're great. Now, obviously, the lower we're scrolling here, the, the more price is going to be cheaper. And again, are going to be cheaper because of demand. Demand is not there at the moment. You also have less of a fun favorite of Pokemon displayed in the card. I do love these Poldean Tauris. I mean, I think all the artworks are great, but obviously when it comes to the, the fun favorite Pokemon that there are in the set, when it comes to Poldean Evolved, I think, and the market agrees with me because of I can see it uh, reflected in prices. The Magikarp, the Raichu, Tyrander, Chimpao, the Chiyu, and then the, the three evolutions of the starter. I think they are the most sought after. I mean, they are the most sought after. You can see that by price. And I mean, the just the artwork in this car is just, it just made. Now, moving on to Paradox Rift. Um, if we have to talk about the, the Rowan Mooney X, the SIR. Now, personally, if I had to choose between the Rory Moon and the Maridoni X, purely based on artworks, I would prefer the Maridoni X. Nevertheless, uh, I think it's 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 a great artwork, but I don't think it's it's one of the best in the set. Now, Iron Hands has seen some price increases because of the playability, complying especially with uh, newer Iron Crown. So. It went from about $20 $25 to a bit over 30 But then I think the main hitters, the main artworks of the set here, apart from the Roaring Moon, are two. The Groudon Illustration Rare and the Steelix. Now, the Steelix is, unlike the Groudon here on Pegasus Rift and the Raichu and Tyranitar on Poldi Evolved, as you can see, they're, all of them, the four of them, are Illustration Rare, regular, illustration rares and they're all right about $20 21 22 the Raichu about 20 18 19 the Tyranitar and then you have a uh, 23 for the Groudon now the Steelix is half of that and uh, again is it undervalued blah 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 if the market is efficient blah 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 it's not blah 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 okay better don't don't bore with that though stuff you already talked about it I know sorry I'll shut up, but I mean a Steelix at ten dollars, whereas the other three are at twenty. I think it's interesting. Um, it's it's obviously Steelix. It's one of the fun favorites, and uh, as you can see here, it is also the second most expensive illustration rare after the Groudon. So it's, you you can see the demand is there. Um, I don't remember exactly. Oh. Actually, it might be in here how many uh, illustration. There's 34 illustration rare. So it's number two out of 34. So that definitely tells you demand is there. It's just not as much as the other two, I guess. Uh, the, the interesting question as a mathematician, as, but you don't have to be a mathematician, would be why. Why is this half the price of the other three? I think that that is interesting. Other than that, really, I don't see that many. I mean, again, I do see very interesting and pretty artworks, but they don't display fan favorite Pokemon. Now, there's the Megby, which, again, seven dollars for an illustration rare. It's it's quite. Uh, it's definitely more than what we've seen with uh, Scarlet and Violet base. But I would still consider those two, the Steelix and the Groudon, the main. Artworks, the main favorite collectible cards from Paradox Rift. And now, last but not least, I also wanted to, to talk about Temporal Forces. Now, as I said, it is my preferred set 
so far, our common value era. And uh, everyone talked about already what, what is going on with uh, Iron Crown EX in the American market. Now, when it comes to the European market, it is a bit different because I'm going to show you something that is that is quite interesting. So let's again filter for English cards. Now, one thing that is pretty clear is that there's very few listings to what we're, we're com used to see. And uh, I mean, this, I think it, it, it's only because the card is the set is so new. It came out a week ago. So you just need to give it time for people to open prod it. And uh, you can see obviously it's much lower market price much lower than the US market price. However, I'm going to show you something. So I've been keeping track of Iron Crown ever since March 3rd. And this was car market on March 3rd. As you can see, again, market price was basically same as today 5455. However, on the lower hand here, you had two big sellers, two stores major European sellers, major European uh, stores that had obviously had a, a bunch of them, 12, 13. And then even here, you can see a bit six. Now that was again, March 24th. Today is March 28th. So even if you take a look at two days after, so March 26th, you can see how they started to sell fast, supply started to diminish fast. There were people, there weren't that many multiple listings. And obviously you come to today where you have only, I mean, there's only two multiple listings and they only have two cards. So I wonder, and uh, we've seen that happening and you'll see it in Sunday's video with uh, Lost Origin. I wonder if usually what happens is something starts in the US, it takes a few days or a week or 10 days. So it takes a, a, a few time, some time to then react and do the same thing in, in Europe, in the European Union. So I'm wondering if that's what's happening. People are just buying out because they just wanted to, to see if, if what, whatever happened in the US, it's gonna happen in, uh, in, in the European Union. But I mean, by buying out, that's what they're making it happen. Now, similar thing, oh wait, I lost temper of forces. Similar thing happened for Iron Leaves, Raging Bolt. As you can see, there's only 34 listings and however, those include again, uh, different languages other than English. So if we filter again, you'll see just as many as you get a higher crown. Again, market price is lower than the American equivalent. As you can see here, market price for Raging Bolt is 74, $70. You can find it for as low as oops as low as 45 50 so it is lower but it is steadily increasing as well just like the iron crown so the only one that is actually holding up is the ghastly uh illustration rare as you can see here if we take a look at see here on the american market 32 dollars for a ghastly which am, i i'm pretty sure it makes it the mux is out of maybe all, the only one that could be expensive is um, Pokemon 151. So of the main set, I think this is the most expensive illustration rare so far. Doubt I doubt it's gonna stay that way, but we'll see. But uh, yeah, here the difference is clear. So th think about this guy. So the price for Gasly in the US, 32, is three times, three times the price in the European Union. All I'll say is, does that seem healthy to you? That's all I'll say. That being said, let me know what you guys think about this Colin Valley era. Do you enjoy the artworks as much as I do? Or are you one of those people that do actually believe that a Swin Shear era was just on another level and just kind of just it's just lagging behind? So stay tuned on the channel because there's gonna be a current zenith opening soon. I'm just waiting for my ATB to get delivered as well as there's going to be a Temporal Force box break in about two weeks time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do like and subscribe if you don't want to miss out on the next update. And I'll see you in the next one.